Hi there, I'm Sandy Alma, here with some very easy and fun doodling that you can do, even if you don't draw. I'm in the middle of a series here in August, the Dog Days of Summer, and showing you a few Bibles that I have that have pre-printed art and ways that you can use the art in these, even if you don't have the Bible. I want to show you a couple examples of these different Bibles all month long of ideas that you can translate to your Bible, even if you don't have this one. And this Bible has all these drawings that are in gray ink. So they're very faint. And for some people, that's not what you want. But for some people, it is what you want. A lot of them are just graphics. They're just lines and, and beautiful things to color in. Some of them are pictures. Some of them are flowers. All different kinds of things. But the one that I thought would be really easy to replicate, if you're looking for something to do on maybe a verse that you can't find any image for, you just can't think of something. This is a great way to spend some time with the Lord on that verse, meditating on it, asking him for his feedback on what he wants you to do with it. What in your life does he want to change through the study of this verse? And just add some beautiful color to it. Now, the person that designed this made some long lines with a ruler, and then they drew some boxes and some semicircles, and then they started doodling within some of those areas. You can do the same thing. Just draw yourself some lines and boxes and things. Leave room for wherever you want to journal. And I'm going to just use the space left by the designer on the right-hand side before I get to the text to do my journaling. And I've colored all of this in with watercolor pencils, which gives me some options. I could leave it just as pencil and not add water to it, but I'm going to add water because it starts to blend the color nicer. You don't end up with all those pencil lines. And I'm going to do all of the yellow first, rinse the brush, go do all of the light blue, rinse the brush, etc. I love watercolor pencils for that reason. You can just change up what you're doing and decide whether you want to keep the pencil. You can keep the pencil in some of these sections and not in others. It's entirely up to you. And I love the just the medium because it gives you control because you get to put the color down where you want it and then you can apply the water when you're ready. There's not like with watercolor, when you start painting, you're kind of committed and you just need to keep going. Well, here with this, you could paint a section and walk away and come back and paint the next section, and you'll be just fine. What I also do when I'm doing any kind of watercolor is iron it afterward, because you may notice that the pages can get a little wrinkly, and I often get asked, how do I keep them from getting wrinkly? Well, you can't, because water and paper are one of those things that just makes wrinkles. That's just what happens. So I let it dry completely first before going to the next phase, and then I iron it. I'll just take a piece of copier paper and put one sheet underneath and one sheet on top, and then iron it for, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 seconds at the most with an, an iron set on like the cotton setting, and then I can proceed. I decided to go back in and put black outlines around it, and that just makes me happy because I love doing doodling. And I love my Micron pens. They don't bleed through and everything. So I'm just going to add designs to a bunch of these sections. You can make them complex. You can make them simple. You could do this in gel pens. You could do it in a white pen for the outlines. You could make all these look like quilted fabric squares. Lots of fun ways that you can decorate this. But also, don't forget, as you're doing your artwork, to be having a conversation with the Lord. One of the reasons that I don't use these pre-printed Bibles very often is because this uses someone else's vision for a particular page. And it, it just, it's a coloring book, basically, in a Bible, which is fine because if you're spending the time actually talking with the Lord about it, then it is going to help your spiritual journey. If you're just using it as a coloring book, I'm not really sure it's worth the money, but you could just get a coloring book. But for me, when I just go into zone mode and I just want to sit with the Lord and spend time with him without thinking too hard. And at the end of the summer, that is kind of a thing for me. I get really hot and tired 
And I thought this month would be a great month to just let my brain go, choose some art that I felt like coloring in these different Bibles all month long, and spend some time just coloring and sharing with you. So that is what I'm doing. And I just looked on the page for what verse out of that entire page that I might like to add as my journaling. And so for this one, it was the well-known verse from Micah about doing justice, loving mercy, and walking humbly with our God. So I hope you are continuing doing some Bible journaling, maybe at least some time with the Lord, even though we're in vacation season. I will see you again next week with another idea for you. Take care. Bye-bye.